Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here for a long awaited fall clothing haul for both the kids. All right, so hopping into the video, um, I've got Riker sitting right over here eating some puffs and squealing away. So there will likely be noise in the background and that's what it is. Before I get into the clothes, yes, I cut my hair. I cut about six inches off my hair. Um, officially have a mom cut. I went this short um, a couple years ago, but um, I've been keeping it long for quite a while. It feels much better, you guys. Um, I can style it better, and it just kinda, I don't know, it dries nicer, it lays nicer, so. Anyways, really excited about my new haircut. Okay, I have quite a bit of clothes to get through today. Um, you guys have been asking and waiting for this video so patiently, um, and I finally got the rest of the stuff in, in the mail, so here we go. Okay, so first off, starting with um, some shoes that I got off of Amazon. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not super impressed with them. They mm -hmm. fell apart within like days, and sometimes it's hit or miss on Amazon, um, but I did wanna share this with you, so I was looking for um, a pair of infant um, Adidas shoes just because here where I live in Minnesota it's super cold um, so when we go outside the reason why I put shoes on my babies is because it's freezing cold um, socks and then um, shoes on top of it and it is snowing you guys it is October 11th Friday October 11th and it is snowing outside quite a bit. Um, I think they said like upwards of eight inches of snow. Um, it was 70 degrees earlier this week, so I can't even keep up with the weather here. It's just like, it's so all over the place. Um, but anyways, that is why I put shoes on my babies. Now, um, they're super cute, um, but like I said, they fell apart within a couple of days. Um, this kind of came off like this the sewing one of the strings got wrapped around Riker's toe inside it just and it wasn't good it was really tightly wound about around his toe and I had to like pluck it off with the tweezers so as cute as these are you guys I would say that these are a total bust I would not recommend getting these shoes I'm not even gonna link them for you guys um, I just wanted to mention to you that if you find these are like the off-brand Adidas shoes because um, I couldn't find um, the actual Adidas in his size. Um, so I just got these like off-brand ones. Do not get them. Um, they're really awful and I'm super unimpressed. So unfortunately we're starting off on a bad foot literally um, with these shoes. But nonetheless they're cute and they were super cute for a couple pictures. But I would not recommend getting those. And I believe the brand is Livebox. Livebox. Um, okay, so I the main places that I like to shop for the kids' clothes, I might get a lot of questions um, in regards to this, whether it be like my personal Facebook page, on my Instagram, or here on YouTube. I get a lot of questions as to where I get Kai and Riker's clothes. Um, I will go to Home Goods once in a while, um, Marshalls, and mine are like attached. The Marshalls and Home Goods are attached. Um, but I'll go to Marshalls and um, take a peek at their racks once in a while because you can find really good deals on really nice brand clothing and like boutique style clothing. I've gotten some Zara tops from there for Riker. Um, I got a Columbia jacket there for Riker. Super cheap, I think it was like $5.99 for the Zara tops. And you guys know that Zara is a really, really good kids clothing brand. Um, I've gotten all of Kaya's Christmas dresses from Zara um, and I've paid probably $40, $50 for their dresses. So you guys know that it's not cheap clothing um, the Columbia jacket I think I got for like $14.99, $12.99, something like that, and they're usually about $30, um, $25, $30, if you were to get it um, at like your typical stores like me, I would typically get Columbia at Shields. Um, anyways, so I'm going to start out with Home Goods and kind of show you what I found there for him. Um, just a few items to start out with from there. Okay, so the first thing that I got for Riker from Home Goods was a three pack of onesies. Um, I can only find two, I think the other one actually is at daycare, um, but it's a waffle knit long sleeve onesie with little buttons. Um, I got a three pack of these from Marshalls for, um, I think it was like $6.99, it was a really good deal. Um, and this is the chickpea brand, which is a really, really good brand. Like I said, I when I'm looking through that stuff at Marshalls, 
it's like I'm looking for the good brands, right? I'm not just grabbing um, like what's the cheapest, etc. I'm really looking for a good deal on good brands, um, clothes that I know are gonna last a while or at least last through um, Riker because he's pretty crazy hard on his clothes. Um, but anyways, a three pack of those was only $6.99. Um, here's his little Columbia jacket. Now this is a six to 12 month, so this will last him all through the winter. Um, it's a little dirty because he just wore it this morning when we were out and about, we went to Costco this morning. Um, I have a Costco haul coming for you guys on Tuesday. Um, but it is, like I said, snowing here. So um, he wore his little jacket and this will be great for all winter long. Okay, so getting into the Zara tops that I found for him. So this is the first top that I found him. Super cute. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Just like a really cute um, print on there or it's like kind of, I don't know what the heck this print is called. But like I said, Zara baby boy collection. This is a three to six month. This does still fit him. Riker is eight months old and he is honestly all over the place for sizing. Um, I will get into it a little bit later here, but when I ordered from H&M, I ordered nine to 12 months because I'm thinking, okay, he's almost eight months old and I want this to last him for a while. And they are huge on him, huge on him. Um, I, they still fit. I can still like fold up the legs and tighten the waists and things on um, on the clothes that I got, but they're huge. He is, um, just for reference, he's about in the 50th percentile. He's very average for his height and his, and his or he's very average for his weight, but his length is in the 90th percentile, like 95th or something. He's a very long and lean little boy. So um, it makes it kind of hard to shop for clothes for him because he is in more of a six to 12 month or like a nine to 12 month for um, length in his pants. But um, as far as like girth, he's more in like, I'd say like a three to six, maybe a six month type of sizing. So his sizing is all over the place, but this top is a three to six month. The next top that I got for Riker is another Zara baby boy top. This is a six to nine month, um, super cute plaid top, perfect for fall, Thanksgiving, um, even for Christmas. I love these shirts. Um, they're such good quality. Like I said, Zara makes really good clothes um, and I've had really good luck with their clothes in the past for Kaya, um, but super, super love these two tops. Now that is um, everything that I got from Marshalls. I keep wanting to say home goods because it's like the same thing for me. Um, but all of those pieces were from Marshalls and I, it was just, it was super cheap. I want to say that those were like, oh, made $6.99, $7.99, somewhere around there for the Zara tops. $6.99 for the three pack and like $15.99 for the Columbia zip up. All right, so the next section of clothing that I'm going to show you um, for Riker is the Amazon haul. Um, I didn't get very much off of Amazon this time. I started out with those shoes that I showed you guys um, just because I wanted to tell you not to get those. Um, but um, I always get the Burt's Bees jammies off of Amazon for Riker because I find that the prices for the Burt's Bees jammies are always best on Amazon. You can also get them at Target. Um, and then also sizing is always a little bit better um, as far as availability wise on Amazon. So um, I did start to stock up for winter time. Um, I've got like a really cute, it's like a tree type of um, print on here. It's pretty neutral though. So him wearing it October, November, it's like not too Christmassy, not too wintry quite yet. Um, this I did order in a 12 month and it fits him really nicely because um, this is a snug fit. The arms are really skinny on the Burt's Bees jammies. So that's why I knew I wanted to size up to a 12 month. Um, it is a little bit baggy in the middle, but overall fits him really good. Um, I also got him this print for Christmas. Um, I'm gonna get a matching set for Kaya. I haven't yet um, just because I went a little crazy on all of this other stuff. Riker really needed clothes right now. Um, Kaya, not so much. She got a few pieces, but she didn't get a ton. Um, what Kaya does still need are some like winter boots, things like that. So I'm gonna do a winter haul more so for Kaya because that's what she needs. Um, but like I said, um, I plan to get a matching set of these for Kaya, um, probably a two piece set. But these are just so cute. They've got groupies on the bottom. Riker is now pulling himself up to his feet and standing. So I like to have a little bit of a grippy on the bottom of his jammies, um, especially if we're just kind of like lounging around in jammies all day, um, especially with the snow hanging around. We spend a lot of time indoors. Um, but 
very cute again has that snug fit this one um, I haven't even washed yet I just hung it right on the hanger um, and this is another 12 month now the last thing that I got from Amazon um, actually this was purchased quite a while ago um, and I think my mom got it but it is from Amazon and he's now fitting into it so I wanted to include it in this fall haul um, um, it is the little like dinosaur sweatshirt set on um, the hood is striped and then the pocket on the front has a like a couple little dinosaurs on there super cute um, I don't like super cartoony stuff so this is cute it's black and white and it's not as obnoxious as far as prints um, and then the pants are super cute you've got like this really cute detail on them um, and then the waist this waist is not adjustable these strings are just there for show but they do fit him nicely um, and yeah, that's a really cute set and it keeps them nice and warm. Oh, I lied, there's one more thing from Amazon. So I showed you guys this, uh, probably my baby boy haul when he was first born, um, but I get a lot of questions as to where this is from. Kaya and Riker have matching hat sets. Um, and I got this off of Amazon. I think it was like $10 for the set. And um, these fit them really good. Target, I mostly got jammies. Um, I haven't been super impressed, honestly, with like the infant size clothing. I really love the Art Class brand for Kaya's clothes. And they, they're like little boy clothes are super cute too, but they start at 12 months. And Riker's not quite into that 12 month yet. Um, so I've been struggling with finding him some like cute clothes from Target lately. Again, I don't really like a ton of the character stuff or like the really obnoxious colors, neon colors, things like that. Um, I like kind of those muted tones um, and more like neutral stuff. So um, I did find some jammies though. I love the Gerber um, sleep in plays. They're like a thinner material, but it's really nice when they're just kind of like, well, like it says sleep and play. These are when you're gonna wear jammies all day or even just for jammies at night. Um, this is what he will wear. Um, this is a six to nine month and this is roomy on him. So like I said, he is all across the board for his um, sizing on his clothes, but um, these fit him really nicely. So it comes in a three pack. The first one's a little bare. This one's got little trees on it. As you can see, it's the muted tones um, and it's not the obnoxious colors. Um, so there's two of them. Um, there is two of them. I don't know where the third one is. I thought I grabbed it, but I guess I didn't. Um, but anyways, these do come in a three pack. So there's one more that comes in this pack for like $12.99, which is a really good deal. Um, and then I did spot these jammies. Now these do have characters on them, but the tones are a little bit more muted and they're not as crazy. And there was like little dinosaur feet on them, which I thought were super cute. Um, so he just has these dino jammies and this one is also in a six to nine month i believe this is a nine month um so he's in a nine month in the carter's brand um jammies okay um and then a piece that my mom purchased for him um i get a lot of questions on this one this is um like a little fleece romper with um dinos on there it's a navy blue and the hood has like a little dinosaur thing on there it's so cute it's so warm um and this again is a nine month and this fits him perfectly right now the last thing that i purchased for him from target were these little gray baby joggers um i love love the baby joggers um that look just like the, the joggers that mike wears so cute to me i look like miniature things of what we would wear but um that is what I got Riker from Target. Next section that we're gonna get into is my favorite section, and this is what I've been waiting on to come in the mail so I can record this video for you guys, um, is the H&M baby boy stuff, so, so cute. Um, a lot of stuff from H&M comes in two packs. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys, um, but a lot of it comes in two packs, which is super economical, it's super nice, um, and, God, their colors, their tones are so cute. So Riker is actually wearing one of the outfits right now. So I will show you that one at the very end of the video. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. He's super crabby today. So every time I look at him, he's just like not impressed. He's like, whatever, mom. You guys ready for this? Oh, it's so cute. So the pants. Um, again, I got a nine to 12 month size. These are huge, huge for him, but so cute. Um, 
These are like little corduroy pants in a copperish color. Um, they have little buttons, and um, I want to say that these were, I want to say like $11.99 a piece, um, which is still a really good price. Um, the inside of them are kind of like a jersey material, so it's not this uncomfortable like corduroy material. Um, it's nice and comfy for them on the inside. So cute, you guys. I, oh, I can't. They're so cute. Um, and then I got a um, gray pair of the same pants. So again, that corduroy material, um, of course, with Thanksgiving, and we've got Christmases coming up. Like all of these things, they need to have a lot of um, like different like dress clothes. Kai is pretty good on clothes, so I didn't get a ton like a dress clothes for her. Um, but it's we have so many different like holiday events to attend that I like to have lots of things on hand for them so that they're, they're not like wearing the same thing over and over again. But um, what's nice about all of the H&M pants is they're all adjustable with these buttons on the inside. So even though these are huge lengthwise, they're not bad on him, but in the waist, they're so big. Um, so I can adjust them here. And then they also have um, these strings are actual tightening strings. So I can tighten the waist that way as well. Um, and that's in all of the pants, like I said. I think that's super useful because not all babies are like a one size fits all. Um, Kaya pretty much fit in like two sizes up all the time. She was a very girthy, chubby baby. But I'm finding with Riker, he's so long and lean that it's really difficult to find him clothes. Um, a lot of these clothes will probably fit him a long time, to be honest with you, but I'm fine with that. Um, I think these jeans were probably $11.99. Um, on H&M and I got a skinny jean just like a dark denim skinny jean um, and again adjustable in the waist so I can also like I can roll these up cinch these in the waist and then also up like I'll probably put um, what's it called I'll probably put his like little booties on um, with this outfit he the booties that I um, am having him wear right now I got from Amazon and I will link those down below. Um, it was something that was included in my, I think it was just like my first baby boy haul because they're like a general like zero to 12 month size. But anyways, um, soup, that would be super cute with these. Um, and then like a plain onesie with maybe like a little hat. That's how I would dress it anyways. But um, yes, very cute. They're stretchy, so they'll be nice and comfy. Um, when he is crawling around, there's nothing worse than putting your baby into something super stiff when they're in the crawling stage because um, there's no movement in there and they're constantly moving. Um, these are some of my favorite pants. Riker is wearing the other pair, like I said, and that's my ultimate favorite outfit that I got for him from H&M is the one that he's wearing. But um, here, it was a two pack of Moto um, sweatpants. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but these um, sweatpants have like the moto um, detail on them. And again, the waist is, you can tighten them with these strings. It's not just there for show. Um, but yeah, super cute. Oh, wait till you see the ones that he's wearing. Oh, to die for. Um, and the last pair of, or the last two pack of pants that I got, um, are again the copper color. I really love this color. I also have um, his swaddle from him when he was first born. It's like a copper camel color. Um, but the swaddle from when he was first born and all of his newborn pictures, I actually still have that. And I will put that over his car seat in the winter time to keep him warm because the, um, what's it called? The cozy cover worked great last winter when he was just a little guy. Um, but now that he's bigger and he's kicking and he's moving all the time, it's actually really hard to keep that cozy cover on him because he'll kick it right off and then it, it's like, it's like stretchy. So it just kind of, it's like elastic. So it just kind of um, like stretches over the car seat. And as soon as he kicks his feet, the whole thing comes off. So I've been using that copper pearl um, camel colored swaddle over the top to keep kind of like that cold wind and such off of him. But um, but yeah, so this is the one pair of pants. This is like kind of a jogger style. What is that called? Where it's like kind of bigger on the butt and skinnier on the legs. I don't know, but I love that style of pant. Um, and then the other pair that came in that pack was um, just like a striped black and white pair. Um, again, you can tighten the waist on them. All right, um, hopping into the tops. Okay, so I got a two pack of sweatshirts and the 
gray one Riker is wearing right now with the gray moto sweatpants um, or the gray moto joggers, um, but it's kind of like a faded black. So it's, I don't know, it's hard for me to, to see or to tell. Um, again, these are all in nine to 12 month sizes. The sweatshirt on snaps here. I wanna say a two pack of these for like $9.99. It was super cheap and they're really cute and like lightweight. So if you did wanna layer with the Columbia jacket, etc., cetera, um, to keep them warmer if you're from the great white north like I am, um, these are super nice for layering. Um, like I said, we do have a lot of um, holiday events coming up here soon. We're getting into the holiday season. So I got him a two pack of sweaters and this, these were $20 for the two packs. So that's $10 each. So this one is actually, I think this one is navy. Is this? Okay. This one is definitely navy blue. On these sweaters, there's cute little button details here and it has kind of like a, um, a scrunch like cowl neck. Or it has like this cute detail on the neck. I love these sweaters and they're like, they're not too heavy. Sometimes when you get, sometimes when you get infant sweaters, they're so thick and like they're not functional. They can't move in them. Um, these are just lightweight sweaters. What I will likely do is I will put a plain white onesie on underneath him so he can stay warm if we are somewhere that's a little bit cooler if we're gonna be doing like outdoor photos, whatever. Um, but very cute and loose and I just don't know how to describe the material. It's just, it's, it's thinner um, so that they can move a little bit, but at the same time, it's still um, like really nice for holiday yeah. events and things like that. So also got it in a gray, um, again with the button details, so cute. So that again was a two pack for only $20. Um, and then I got a five pack of onesies for him. Just plain onesies. I love this five pack because it comes with several different colors. They're all the muted neutral tones. I love it. I can mix and match the pants with these onesies and I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, I have one, it came with one black onesie. It came with one gray, dark gray onesie. And then it came with kind of like a like a light gray topish color onesie, oatmeal maybe. I would say that's more gray. And then it came with two white long sleeve onesies. And all of those I want to say were like twenty twenty five dollars, super cheap, super affordable. Um, and then the last pack of onesies that I got. So this was a two pack of onesies, and you'll tell here in a minute that they go really well with a lot of the pants that I got. Um, this is, again, the camel copper colored onesie. And this is, um, it's almost like a waffle knit. I wanna, try, I wanna try to get that material on there for you guys. Um, it's almost like a waffle, mit, waffle knit material. Um, and it's super stretchy and it's comfy, it's so soft, it's black and white striped. Um, and it goes really nicely with those pants. They're meant, I think they're meant to go with um, that two pack of pants so that you can like interchange the colors like this. So here's the copper colored pants with the striped onesie top and then the striped pants with the copper colored onesie top. Um, but at the same time, I can interchange them with outfits like this. So with the corduroy, gray corduroy pants, I can do the black and white striped with the copper corduroy pants. Super versatile, that's what I like with H&M um, stuff is you can interchange a lot of it um, so that if you wanna mix up the outfits you can, but you can kind of have that same staple wardrobe and you don't need to have a million outfits. So this likely will last him most of the winter. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a winter haul for him, maybe some warmer boots, um, but that is what I got for Riker in his fall clothing haul. I'm gonna hop into the few things that I got for Kaya. Um, we're gonna go backwards this time. I'm gonna start with the H&M stuff that I got for Kaya. It's just one piece. Um, but I wanted something leopard print for her because she loves leopard print. She calls it cheetah. So I ended up finding Kaya a dress. Um, we have family photos coming up. We've got Thanksgiving coming up. Um, and I figured I could use this dress for both of them. A 5T has been fitting Kaya just a little bit too tight lately, so I got a six to seven, and this one's huge. So, of course, everything that I got from H&M was a little bit bigger, so if you are ordering from there, keep that in mind that their sizes are, I would say they're true to size um, for their age. I got her this really cute leopard print dress, um, and we will be 
likely having her wear this in family photos and Thanksgiving, like I said. Um, Zara is usually where I get her Christmas dress every single year, but this will be really cute for um, all of the other fall holidays and events that we've got coming up. So that's the only thing that I got for Kaya from H&M. Um, I did get her a few other things from Target this year was more so I just wanted to add some trendier pieces into her wardrobe but honestly you guys she's doing really well with her clothes like I said I'm, I'm not thinking I'm gonna need to get her stuff probably um, until closer to winter time which it literally looks like winter time outside right now holy crap that's so much snow so much snow is outside <laughs> all right anyways um so I will be doing um, a winter haul for her like I said um, probably close to like Christmas time I might give her some um, as Christmas gifts but Target has had some really cute pieces lately that I just couldn't resist at Target again our class is my favorite brand um, second to that would be Cat and Jack once in a while Cat and Jack has got some like crazy obnoxious prints but then they also will have super cute trendy stuff too so the first top that I got for Kaya was this like tie up front waffle knit shirt um with the buttons it's a lot of what i wear so i think it's really cute for her to be like a little mini me um and then cat and jack did have a super cute print um right these are yep these are cat and jack um i got her these really cute rainbow leggings they're like olive green with the rainbows i'm loving the rainbows you guys right now i think they're super cute i think spearmint came out with a ton of Rainbow stuff, Spearmint's a little crazy out of my price range right now, but I love all of their stuff and the muted tones and the prints. So this is about as close as I could get to that. Okay, I would say I probably have the most questions in regards to this sweater. I got this sweater um, from Target, Art Class brand. It's an oversized mustard yellow colored sweater. So cute. This is most definitely something that I would wear this is so cute. Um, I will have a link down below for you guys. I've had so many people message me on Instagram and ask where I got this sweater and if I can link it, and I will do so down below. Um, they are still selling them online. A lot of you were having troubles finding them online, but um, I will link it down below for you. The last couple things that I wanna share with you for Kaya, like I said, I didn't get her a ton of pieces for this fall, but I did get her some accessories and new shoes. Um, there is a, I think it's called Little Ruse Bows. It's like a Minnesota, online boutique um i think they're from like down south minnesota from like where my parents live um anyways little ruse and they have the cutest bows i haven't really like been a bow person i'm finding out very quickly that like the bow community is like a cult <laughs> i like people have like hundreds and hundreds of bows and i just have i have eight of them you guys i don't have a ton and i'm missing a few of them because i think they're, they've been left at daycare but i'm going to show you a few of them that i do have on hand um they're I got so I got two of these really big bows for Kaya. Like how cute do these colors pair together? Oh, I love it. So I got two of these bigger bows. I have a black one and then I have this like muted blue color. Um I don't even like a dusty blue, I guess I would call it. Um I love these bows. So typically for Kaya's hairstyle, I'll pull back like this front section just to get her bangs out of her face tie it with like I've got like the blonde color um like regular ponytails and I'll put it up in a little pony and then I stick the bow like right here on her every single day it's super cute it's super girly she loves the bows she asks for her bows every single morning now um so yeah so I got two of those bigger bows and then I have um, a bunch of smaller ones and then there's one more big bow I forgot there's one more big bow and I can't find it any anywhere but it's like a cactus print it's really cute. I'll have the bows linked down below so you guys can go check out that shop. Um, and then I also have um, a bunch of tiny bows. Um, they're not tiny, but just like regular size bows. They're not the oversized ones. Um, I do have, uh, I believe there are. Okay, so I've got one more small bow. Um, and that one is a leopard print. That one is definitely a daycare. Um, and because it's her favorite bow, Kaya loves leopard print. But um, I've got just kind of like a creamy oatmeal color. This one still has her hair on it. Um, and then I've got a light pink bow here. Um, this one I loved. It was like the peaches print, but it did not come with a clip. It was only with a nylon headband. Um, I think I might go out and buy a clip so that I can transfer it or like make it into like a regular one. Um, and then I have 
This one's just like a navy floral. Again, like goes, it goes just super cute. It goes with all of her, um, oh all of her clothes. God. And I can intermix so all of the bows. Cute. They're so cute. This is probably the second yeah, most yeah, asked yeah, about yeah, thing yeah, in her yeah. wardrobe. And yeah. that is her leopard print shoes that I got from Amazon. Um, so this part of the video clearly is from Amazon and these have been well loved and well worn um, for probably, I would say like two months now. Um, they are Velcro and super adorable. For an Amazon pair of shoes that I probably got for $15, these have held up really good. And I have yet to find something more durable in a similar print and similar style. Um, I do, like I said, plan on doing a winter haul for Kai. I have so many things I want to get her, but I have to limit it because she already has so many clothes right now, so I don't want to like overwhelm her wardrobe, and so she's only wearing like one thing every single day. Um, but I'm definitely going to be ordering some more stuff from Zara. I'm going to be looking for a new pair of winter boots for her, whether that be like hunter boots or a new pair of Uggs. I don't know. Um, and then I would really like to get her like a pair of Vans or something as well. But um, yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this kids fall clothing haul. And I'm going to also give you a peek at Riker's outfit here really quick as well. All right, this drooly, bouncy, crazy boy. Should we show him your outfit quick? Here, should you show him? All right guys, I just wanted to quickly show you his outfit. Oh, he's so wiggly. Um, stop trying to wiggle. Stop trying to wiggle. Okay, so these are Riker's pants. I don't know if you guys are getting a good shot of those, but these are the gray moto pants. These are my absolute favorites. Yes, they're so cute on you. And he's wearing that gray sweatshirt top from H&M. Yeah. You're so squeaky. He is a big boy now. Oh my gosh, you guys, he's so bouncy, bouncy. That's his favorite. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. You guys see him like kicking his legs up. Oh, he loves it. Um, okay, well, we're going to end the video there for today. Yeah, yes we are. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Hmm? He's looking at the snow outside. I know, it looks scary out there. So I know, I feel the same. Cute boy. All right, you guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more of these clothing hauls on my channel, Please be sure that you leave a comment down below and leave your suggestions. Um, and make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of my other future videos. Oh, there's puffs all over me. I do all mom things. I do a lot of like home design stuff, cleaning, grocery shopping, you name it, you got it. That's what I do. All the mom things, all the cute stuff. Make sure that you're subscribed before you leave. And I will see you guys in a couple days for a Costco grocery haul, okay? Bye, you guys. Can you say bye? Say bye, Bubba. Breaker, say bye. Say bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Good job. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.